Lesson 4.7, Practice Two-Digit Addition. We're also going to talk about what happens when we have 10 or more tens. So we talked about the steps for adding two-digit numbers in the last video, and the first step would be to add the ones, and we would regroup 10 ones as a 10 if needed, and we'd write the remaining ones in the sum in the ones column. Step two, we add the tens. Step three, we regroup 10 tens as 100 if needed. We write the hundreds digit in the hundreds place and the tens digit in the tens place. So let's try some. So we've learned that we can regroup 10 ones as 110. We have 27 plus six. We add seven plus six, which equals 13. That's 110 three ones. We regroup the 110 into the tens place. Then we add the tens. One plus two is three. 27 plus six is equal to 33. And we can regroup 10 tens as 100. Here we have 97 plus six. Seven plus six is equal to 13. We regroup the 110, write the three in the ones place. Now we add nine plus one, which is 10. We have 10 tens. 10 tens is equal to 100. We have 100 zero tens, three ones, 97 plus six is equal to 103. This is what happens when we're modeling the problem 97 plus six. 97 is nine tens, seven ones, and we're adding six more. We regroup if we need it. We ask ourselves if we can make a 10 from 10 ones, and we can. We can see there's five here and five here. We can make a 10 with these. We can move it to the tens place, then cross this one out, because we've moved it. Now we have three ones, and we have five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten tens. And we write it as 100, zero tens, three ones. So each place value can only hold a single digit, a digit by itself, and 10 tens is equal to 100. 10 ones are equal to 110. 10 tens are equal to 100. So 10 ones can be regrouped as 110. 10 tens can be regrouped as 100. This works for all place values. If we have 10 hundreds, we could regroup it as 1,000. It's telling us to write the sum, so we need to add these numbers. We have 78 plus 54. We start by adding the ones. 8 plus 4 is equal to 12. 12 is 110, two ones. We regroup the 10 and write the two ones in the ones column. Now we add the tens. 7 plus 5 is 12, plus 1 more is 13. That means we're going to have 100 three tens, two ones. Here's the 13 tens. See it? It became 103 tens. Let's try this one. We have 89 plus 17. We start by adding the ones place, 9 plus 7, which is equal to 16. 16 is 110. Six ones, so we regroup the 110. Now we add the tens place. We have eight, nine, ten. We have ten tens. That's 100 and zero tens. That means 89 plus 17 is equal to 106. Let's try it again. We need to write the sum. We start with the ones place. Five plus six, we can think five plus five is 10, and that would be one more, so that's 11, which is one 10 and one one. We regroup the 10. Now we add the tens place, six, seven, eight, nine. 65 plus 26 is equal to 91. Let's try 77 plus 23. We start by adding the ones place, seven plus three, is equal to 10, that would be 110, zero ones. And now we add the tens place, we have seven, eight, nine, 10. 10 tens is 100, zero tens. 77 plus 23 
is exactly 100. Now let's try some higher order thinking skills. It says, without finding the sums, circle the pairs of add-ends for which the sum will be greater than 100. So it's saying without adding them, without actually adding them and finding the sums. And we need to circle the pairs of add-ins whose sums are greater than 100. And it says a hint is to look at the tens. If we add 40 something and 15, do you think that's gonna be more than 100? No, that's not gonna be more than 100. 58 and 76, if we just add the tens, we have five tens and seven tens, that's 12 tens. Yeah, that would be greater than 100. We could circle that one. What about 67 and 49? We look at the tens place. We have six tens and four tens. If you said yes, circle it, you're right, because this 60 plus 40 is 100, and by the time we add the ones, we know we're going to be greater than 100. So we found two that will have sums greater than 100 by looking at the tens. So make sure you remember when the numbers in a place value column total 10 or more, we regroup to the next greater place value. Each place value can only hold a single digit. As you're doing addition at home or for homework, you can remember that we can turn a sheet of lined paper sideways to keep place values in their correct column. We can use it for addition, subtraction, and later on in the upper grades, you're going to learn we can use it for multiplication and division. We keep our ones in one column, our tens in another column, and you don't need to write hundreds, tens, ones. You could put an H for hundred, T for ten, and O for ones. Keep it nice and neat. It's very easy to turn the piece of paper sideways. So just remember, we only regroup when the column in that place value has 10 or more. So we can regroup to the next greater place value. In our next lesson, 4.8, we're going to rewrite two-digit addition. If our homework or our book shows a number sentence for addition, we're going to see how we can turn it into a stacked vertical problem like we have here. I hope I'll see you there. Have a really great day. Bye.